and welcome. This is your host, EraserMK, back again. This time we're doing one of my favorite characters in KOF, K-Dash. Oh man, I'm so excited to do his trailer. Oh man, you guys know the drill. It's gonna be lore and comparison of his move from 14 and 15. So let's get started, shall we? K has to start in KOF 99. And before we continue on, let's go to KOF 97. So this is really important, so listen up. After the conclusive battle of Orochi, the Ness Cartel decided to kidnap Keo and use the experiment on him on cloning. But one problem though, the cloning process wasn't a success, so they kidnap a young man, unknown name or anything. This young man passed every Ness's field test, but now he was ready for the Kusanagi cloning process. But with this cloning process, they took some of Ki Kyo's DNA and put it into this young man. More like DNA splicing, if you ask me. So after the whole experiment was done, the man could bend fire just like Kyo, thanks to his DNA as part of Kyo. So, that's where the name K was born. But yeah, so K is basically not a clone clone, but he's more of a experiment for the cloning process. So, after the success of K, they know what to do now. So they clone a thousand some Kyo clones under their command as, as part of the army. Then after that, they clone K and his sister. Before we continue to K's story in 99, let's just explain about the Kusanagi clone. So basically, there are three Kusanagi clones that, you know, was appear in the whole Ness Cartel out of the thousands and thousands of Kyo clones. One of them is Kyo One. Kyo One is the series of the Kyo clones. He doesn't underestimate his enemies. Kyo 2 has got the cocky version of Kyo, and you know, always underestimate his enemy and you know, always talk trash. But here's the most recognizable of them all and fan favorite, Kusanagi. Kusanagi is basically the darker version of Kyo. So think of like a evil Ryu type of thing in Street Fighter. But with Kusanagi, he has more personality than most of the uh, clones. Kusanagi wants to strive to be the strongest and more, if, you know, supreme of the Kusanagi. So, so basically Kusanagi's main goal is to destroy any other type of clone that looks like him, that including the original Kyo. But they all, all these clones do got one purpose, is to destroy Kyo. In KOF 99, K, Maxima, Benamaru, and Shingo were part of the team, but their goals were different because K and Maxima want to destroy the next cartel while Ben and Shingo wants to find Kyo, but they but they all got the same goal in mind. They all want to go to the next cartel base. While they were at base, they met one of the higher ups of the Ness Cartel, Chrysalid. Chrysalid was an extremely powerful foe because he has Kyo's powers and he boasted on K for being the original Kyo clone, which he said that K is a clone of Chrysalid. But, 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 spoiler warning, K was the original while Chrysalid is the clone of K. Chrysalid's plan was to release the thousands of Kyo clones into the world so the Ness Cartel can rule the world. But his plan backfired when 1. He lost to K. 2. Clone Zero won his superior neutralized the Kyo clones and gravely injured Chrysalid. During his dying breath, Chrysalid sees Whip. Whip asks him one of the most important questions and if he knows it, that means that Chrysalid is Whip's brother. But Whip asks him, do you know your own parents? Chrysalid could not answer it because Chrysalid is a clone of K. Chrysalid realized 
that when he's a clone of K and realize that his sibling bond with Whip isn't his true sister and he died knowing that. This made Whip pretty sad now. In KOF 2000, Ness learned of K's betrayal and sent out their secret web at the Anti-K, a, a girl named Coolia, and they order her to destroy K and Maxima no matter the cost. But that backfires because after K and Maxima, um, Ramon and Vanessa fall against Clone Zero, Coolia, Candy, and her team destroy the Zero Cannon. After the Clone Zero's death, Whip was reunited with K and became part of his team on KOF 2001. In KOF 2001, K, Whip, and Maxima ran to Lin, who is the assassin that was looking for the man named Ron, who is used to be his good buddy, but Ron is a traitor to his clan. During the tournament, K and his team encounter Zero, which is the original Zero, along with Ron and the revived Chrysalid. So K and his team had to face Zero. After the battle, K and his team were triumph over Zero. Zero then tells him go to the base while the blimp was self-destructing. With no trick, Zero died honorably. In the base, K and his team sees a man named Ness, who's basically the head of the Ness cartel. So Ness was going to have an agreement with them that they will surrender to them. But, 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 all of a sudden, Ness was killed by his own son and right-hand man, Ignis. Ignis was the new leader of Ness. He claimed himself as a god because he's the one that made the human modification or cloning a success, which that resulted of K having Kyo's power, Kulia, to be part of K, K99, Angel, Silly Polly Paul, Kusanagi, the Kyo clones, everything. So, so with his deranged look that he is a god, and he was going to destroy anyone in the earth. So, K and his team had to face a megalomaniac. But, 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 sadly, K and his team was defeated by Ignis because Ignis overwhelmingly powered. For all hope was lost. Kyo, Iori, and Kulia snuck into the space base of Ness and assist K on defeating Ignis. After a fierce battle, K did the finishing blow on Ignis. Ignis couldn't believe that he was defeated by K, cursing himself as a demon. And as one last act, he decided to crash the space base to out of orbit. Lucky for K and his group, the space base landed in the ocean. Thus, thus marking the end of Ignis and the end of the Ness Saga. So guys, that be it for K's lore. Let's get started on the comparison in his moves to 14 and 15, shall we? That's it! Oh my goodness, K is one of my favorite characters and it was an honor to do this video. Oh my gosh. But anyway guys, the video's over. Hey, till next time. Hey, hey, before you go, what did you leave a like if you enjoyed this video? Subscribe to me if you don't want to miss anything KOS or gaming related from yours truly. This is your host, B-Razor MK, signing off, and I'll catch you guys next time.